Fish can escape from nets or lines, but often carry the scars for life. But with over 20 years of diving experience, Erlen de Borgerson feels that the husbandry of the Icelandic fishing grounds is of a fairly high standard. We have insufficient evidence to assess the damage caused to fish from fishing gear, but examination of film footage taken over the past four years showed only four examples of fish scarring. This poor fish, however, has a hook in its mouth and seems to have a damaged eye. But the situation is not as good in many harbours and fishing grounds. It's intolerable to find old nets and other rubbish in harbours where there's a skip close by. This female lumpfish has become ensnared in the net and seems to have died. However, after a closer look, the diver finds that she's still alive and kicking and with a few slashes of his knife is able to set her free. This male Ida, however, has been less lucky. He's been caught in this old net under the harbour crane and drowned. He can't breathe underwater. Some trash, however, can be happily recycled. This old aluminium pan has made an excellent hideout for a male lumpfish. That doesn't give anyone an excuse to chuck garbage in the sea, of course. We often concern ourselves about the effect that mankind has on the environment, but often nature itself has the real power. We don't know what immense forces have been at work to slaughter this plankton en masse and wash it onto the shore. Around a decade ago, the scallop population imploded in Breitherfjörde Fjord. The annual catch had been 8,500 tonnes per year until shell fishing was banned. Several theories have been put forward, but the general consensus points to a disease in the stocks. 1992 brought a huge hike in the population of sea urchins in Eyjafjord, and in just a few years, they stripped the seaweed bed bare in the fjord. Here we see a herring with signs of the infection that became rife in this country a few years ago. The Marine Research Institute issued a warning one year that 60% of the stocks were infected and would perish within weeks. During the winter of 2012, many thousands of tons of herring entered the Kolgravafjord of the region at Snæfellsnes. There seems to have been a huge depth cooling in the fjord and it was the coldest dive Erlenda has ever experienced. The cause of the calamity was probably a shortage of oxygen in the water rather than cooling due to the immense amount of herring in a small enclosed area.